We're gonna use it right now. Mmm, that new box smell. This one's like a cereal box or something. Oh shit! I know what we need. Perfect. Go. Just like that, dude. Let's go up here. What is up, guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, I play games, and you should subscribe to my channel. Last we left off, we have infiltrated Big Shell along with the SEALs Team 10, and SEALs Team 10 is dead. They all got killed by a guy named Vamp. Um, and now, our mission is to go disarm C4 explosives planted on Big Shell by the terrorists, and there is apparently a bombs disposal expert over here in Shell C. And that is what we're looking for. Strut C. It'd also be good if we found that uh, thing that lets us have a radar while we're here. That'd be great too. Anybody in the urinals? Where's our camera? No camera? Colonel, I found something of vital importance. Let's go into the bathroom over here. Hold on. This big shell is essentially the base for Metal Gear Solid 5 that you get to create. And ooh, I can't wait to play through that one, dude. Woo! It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna live stream that. I don't see anything. I think we're clear. All right, we need a level one key card for that. Freeze! Don't shoot. He's got a wrench! Starts lightning him up. I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. It's Pliskin. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. Lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. That's the guy we're the looking poor for. Poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. Huh. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... 
What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd Raiden. Name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own, and he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? 
That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of twelve bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. All right, 12 bombs. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Good. Let's split up and take tackle this. this together. Divide and conquer. Yes, What's dude. This? Level key card. Security card. Level one. Issued to Shell personnel. The big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no SEAL. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... I'm right Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. 
And just remember, if you fuck up handling a bomb, you won't know it. Good luck! All right. Now we gotta go dispose of a bunch of bombs. Well, here's this computer. Okay. So, we have the sensor A. Raiden, get back to your mission. Sorry, Captain. We have the sensor equipped. Oh, there it is. You see it? It's in the woman's bathroom. Oh, there it is. Uh, coolant. Oops. How do I shoot it? Oh my god, okay. Gotcha. I wonder why it doesn't work like your gun. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <sighs> That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations, too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Okay, so he knows that we're here... And he's, you know, putting his bombs in weird places. Okay, hold up. Get down. How far is he coming? Way too far. Hold up. We don't want to use our SOCOM. We don't have a silencer. Just gotta be sneaky. Okay. That's odd. All right, go, 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 while the camera's not looking. Hold on. Okay, there are potentially a lot of bombs here. What? Oh. There's somebody no, there. there's not. Hmm. There's nobody on here but you. Okay. Okay, he's fucking off. Good. Take a look around. Okay, there's two of them. Hold up. I was gonna go break his neck. <laughs> Alright, there's one. Also. Nothing here.
Okay, we gotta go down a level, I think. Shit, dude. Get up. Ugh. All right, we have the sensor on. Here it is. I hear it. Raiden, at your feet, there's a hat for pipe or gauge maintenance. Face the hatch and push the action button to open it. There may be something you can use, so check the inside thoroughly. Yeah. All right. There we go. He's gonna come this way, isn't he? Hang mode. Oh shit, we can't go around the corner. Do you think we can throw him off the edge? I don't know. Okay, so that was another bomb. Hold on. Ooh. I see something. There we go. Beautiful. DE connecting bridge. Hold on. Okay, then I guess we only have one option. Okay, he's going down there. Let's let him do that. Whoa! Is that a guy up there? What is that? Doesn't matter, because we're too sneaky, baby! Okay. God, we could use a gun. the corner. Okay, so we got another one of these, I guess. This room is kind of sketchy. Now it'll be a little less sketchy. No, I don't want that. Hold on. How do I... Here we go. I wanted to see if there's a way to tell where we've disarmed the bombs or not. Uh, I'm going to assume the B means that there's a bomb. Okay, there's a bomb in here somewhere. That's the assumption that we're going on. Perfect, dude. Yes, we got a box. Beautiful. But 
But I guess if we have the box on, we can't, uh... Have our sensor on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, dude. Now we gotta come back in here. I saw some stairs going down. Level five, damn. A mine. I'm not seeing. Let's get low. Hmm? What? There's somebody no, there's there. not. Oh, fuck. Don't worry about it, dude. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Oh my god. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Let's not go this way. I have the sensor on... And there's presumably... Hold on. Where's our box? We gotta pick up these items. Maybe one of them is a mine detector. Shit. Hold on. We're going undercover. No way. What good is this box? How did he know to look in the box? Did we lose our box? No, we lost it. Okay, let's try this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Raiden? Shit, dude. Hold on, we'll go back. I was trying to get him to lay down and he started flipping around. Nothing here. 
There's the box. Let's put our sensor on, just in case. Oh, wait. We do have a mine detector. Oh, God. Right in? There's nobody anywhere, dude. We're good. We're safe here. Right past us. Let's go up here. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. Dude, his deep throat back? What? Are you hiding something from me? There's no way, dude. He oh, died. He got pancaked sure an by Metal Gear. Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that. There's ever. Olga. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! Freeze, bitch! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Commit suicide. No one would have expected that from her. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Okay, what do we got? We've got a jet. Ooh, a new box. We're gonna use it right now. Mmm, that new box smell. This one's like a cereal box or something. Oh, shit! They have no idea where we are. None. Oh my god. Oh god, that was close. Hold up, hold up. What's up here that we want? Oh, we're looking for C4, of course. Hold on, we need our sensor. It's over here by the plane. Whoa, dude, I thought it was gonna crash. That was bad. Hold on, listen for the beep. Could really use a trank.
Hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta take care of this guy right now. Okay. Crawl. I hear it. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Raiden here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know. But I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back, too. Just hurry. Okay. I see an item that we might want to go grab really quick. What's that square? Oh, it's a person below us. Okay. Can we open this? No. Let's get out of here. Dun, 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 dun. That's how they teach you to get downstairs in military school. He looks... Sleepy. Sneak up on him. Freeze, Freeze motherfucker! Go to sleep. Go to sleep! Oh shit! Get up. Teach you a lesson. I was trying to not kill him. I don't know how to just put him to sleep. I only know one mode, and that's neck-breaking mode. I thought maybe if you just, like, walked around with him, he would fall asleep, but that didn't happen. Teach you to take a nap on the job, dude. Won't be doing that again. Or anything else. Dun, 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 dun. I'm having a great time with this game. It's a ton of fun. Woo! Here we go! Alright, where's our mine detector? Easy. Hold on, hold on. Oh, shit! Wow, that bridge is deadly. Did you see that? Holy fuck. Alright, chill. Hold on. They sent sentries. How do we go back across the bridge, dude? All right, I'm gonna try something. We might die. Ah! Oh my god. God damn, we're cool. Look at this shit. We're good, we're good. That guy is still up there. I'd love to shoot him.
Okay, so the door behind us is too high of a security level. Holy shit, dude. This is gonna blow us up. Damn. Okay. Now we're in the warehouse. F? Is that what that said? Okay, hold up. Okay, stop doing that. Who's there? Here we go, here we go. Who's there? Shit. Get up, dude. Get you out of the way. We don't need the mine detector, we need this. Hold on. Oh my god! You're not calling anybody, dude. Oh, fuck. This is going not according to plan. Alright, let's do that again. I think down here is a better move. Okay, hold up, hold up. I see a porno mag. You see it? Okay, hold up. Shit. Go, go, go. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got eyes. I repeat, we've got eyes. And a new box. Huh. Pentasmin. It's a benzodiazepine antidepressant. Stops trembling of hand when sniping. Okay. Sick. Okay. We need to go disarm that bomb. Waiting for him. Waiting for him. I know what we need. Perfect. Go. Just like that, dude. Get M9 first. Nothing here. How do we... How do we get back there? Huh. Get ready. Get ready, baby! He's not moving. Go! Come here. Come here. That's right. Guess what? That's what, baby. Check this out. No one's finding that dude. Shh. 
shit. Do you see that? There's something back there. There's a bomb. There's a fucking bomb back there. Hold on. There has to be a way. Oh, I think I know what we gotta do. Maybe. Cause there's no where to crawl. Okay, we gotta go back upstairs. God, dude, our level one key card kind of sucks. How come Snake got the level three key? Here we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Hold on, that guy's back. We're doing pretty good, dude. We're knocking these bombs out. I think Fat Man's probably gonna be our first boss at this rate, don't you think? It's the dude on rollerblades that likes C4. Hold on. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. I want that porno mag. Get up. Wow. I am willing to kill for that porno mag. Also, before we check this out, if we sit here and do this long enough, we will actually level up our grip strength. And it's actually important that we do that. Oh shit, god damn it. I fell down. Well, like, you know, I was. I fell off the boxes. Uh, no reason. Shit, dude, we gotta hurry. Okay. Here they come. Oh my god, that was fast. Alright guys, if you liked the episode, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I promise we aren't gonna die, because we're gonna pick it up right here next time, and I'll see you there, guys. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Just come back next time and see how things turned out. I'll see you there. Peace out.